you're an accounting guy. I know you're not a tax guy, but like I hear this all the time that, you know, there's some people they get into trucking and not not people necessarily because they want to be truck drivers and trucking, but they look at, they say, hey, there's really good tax advantages to owning a truck. Explain, like, is that is that truth or is that myth? And how In does the that short work? term, it'd be truth. Um, but trucking is an expensive operation. Sure, if you got some mega money operation, you need to damp it, dampen your tax And, and the people I'm talking about, like, I know I just, um, my, my dermatologist, I mean, he's got 40 trucks, he said, that he's built over the past five years. Um, that he's running and he's going to get a million dollar depreciation this year off of it. Yeah. And, it, and like I say, but again, he's got to stay in the business. He's got to keep buying new trucks because the average life cycle, depreciation life cycle of a truck, no matter what um, methodology you use, is usually five years, sometimes seven, but five to seven years, unless you do a, a special depreciation. And now that's starting to slide backwards. 22, uh, 2017, 22. <clears throat> Talk it, about what depreciation is, though, so people understand that. I think people don't quite understand. What does depreciation mean? It's the depletion value of your equipment. So let's just use a five-year depreciation. Uh, Tax-wise, the assumption is that that truck will have a useful life of five years. <clears throat> you pay 100000 for that truck. Now, I'm talking book depreciation. There's actually more complicated regimes here, but for financial reporting, yep. you would divide that truck's life over five years, so 20000 a year in depreciation expense. And 2023, the bonus is not as an attractive option because it's no longer 100%. It's 80, so you're better. You might be better off going the, the long road instead of the short road. Um, but we got about a five-year run of 100%. Depreciation now it's sunsetting. It'll probably roll back to fifty percent uh, pre twenty seventeen tax changes. Here in the next few years, I think it rolls back twenty percent per year. So those will actually change the. <coughs> I mean, the the IRS will change those every year, or they they can. Yes. Okay. But again, that's something I don't deal with on a right. regular basis. <clears throat> So I say consult your CPA, but it it is expensing out your truck. Because when you buy your truck brand new, you're not, that's not an expense. That's an asset purchase. <coughs> that's not going on your income statement. That's going on your balance sheet as an asset. So depreciation is a way to get a portion of your truck to that expense sheet on the anticipation that that truck is wearing out and it becomes expensive to maintain and it has lower value. So it's a way to impair that asset value without actually doing it and getting a tax benefit while you're while you're at it. I see that it's done. I mean, a lot of people get into real estate because there's a little bit of the same tax taxation process. You can buy an asset and there's depreciation, but typically that asset, you know, whether it's a house or building, will appreciate. But typically, a truck's going to depreciate, right? Yeah, so that, that extra value. So you're getting depre you're getting yeah, depreciated, but, um, but the building's actually increasing in value. Residential real estate's twenty seven and a half years depreciation. Uh, a commercial building's thirty nine. So the truck has a shorter life cycle. You spend a hundred thousand dollars for a truck, or closer to two hundred now. You're getting that truck the the value bleed out in the five year cycle versus twenty seven and a half years for a house. You decide to go and buy a bunch of. 